Hi and welcome everyone and thank you for joining. Today I'm going to be talking about formatting a pie chart. If you need to know how to create a uh, pie chart, go to my last video, how to create a pie chart in Microsoft Excel 2016. So we've already got our pie chart created at this point and it looks like this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to edit this chart title. So the way that you do that is you click on the chart title and once you see the blue blue circles around it, you can just start typing your title. Now the funny thing is, as you type your title here, it actually doesn't show um, in this area as you type. It just shows up in the formula bar up here. But once you press enter, now it'll show up here. So now that this title's here, I want to format the title. So I go to the chart tools format tab and I'm going to uh, format it with a word art style. It's just a quick way to have a nice style to your um, uh, chart title there and so I'm gonna go ahead and click that right there and it's going to apply that word art style and then I'm gonna increase the uh, font size by going to the home tab font group and right here it's currently at 14 and I'm gonna change that to 32 okay alright so now what I want to do is I want to take a look at the rest of my chart and I notice that I have some slices here but they don't really have anything on them and then down here I have the legend and so I'm gonna show you how to remove some of these things and add in some other things. So I'm going to click on this chart elements right here and I see that the legend is currently checked. I want to get rid of that for the time being so I'm going to remove that. Okay, And you'll notice that it decreases or it uh, deletes the legend at the bottom and increases the size of our um, chart. And so now I want to put in data labels. So if I hover over data labels and I go to the right of it where this black arrow is, I click on that and then I could put in data labels. Now it doesn't give you too many options here, so I always like to click on more options so that I can customize these data labels quite a bit more. And so here we go. I have my data label options here, and let's say I wanna add in the category name, that seems like a good one, and also the percentage. And then I can remove the value and the leader lines like I had on before. So now I have uh, the slices, names, so taxes, other services, intergovernmental and licenses and permits, as well as the percent of the slice that they actually take up. So that's pretty useful information for me, but we notice again that it's displayed pretty small and it's off to the side. So the first thing I wanna do is change the label position here and I wanna change that to center. So I adjust that to the center, it increases the size of my uh, chart and then I see everything's in the center, but that font size is still pretty small. So I'm gonna to go to the home tab. I'm gonna make it bold. Okay, and you can see they all turn to bold there. And then they're currently size nine, size 14 should be good for these. Okay, so there we go. That increases the uh, font size of these data labels right here. Okay, all right. So the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna show you a little bit more about the 3D effects that um, the, that the chart elements has, okay? And so uh, I notice right now that currently, uh, if I go over here to the effects area and click it, most, uh, most of the time what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you click the actual chart itself. So if I click say right here on this blue area where it says taxes, notice that it deselects my uh, data labels and now the whole chart is selected. The way that I could tell that is there's a little blue line in the middle and a little blue line at the corner of each slice. So take a look there, make sure that you recognize when your entire, when your entire chart is selected here, okay? So that's how we know. And so over here under the 3D format area, they have different bevel options so you can kind of change how, the, uh, how yours is shaped. Okay, how this chart is shaped here. So you can go with like a relaxed inset or cross or soft round, anything like that. I'm just gonna choose round here just to show you. It kind of rounds off the edges. You can see that right there, it rounds it off on the top. And I'll just choose round on the bottom as well. Okay, so there we go. So that'll kind of uh, round it off, give it a more rounded look rather than the hard edges. So then you could also set the size of these things. So I could, you know, set the top bevel width and height to 350. So it could just increase that size there. Okay, so you see there, it kind of uh, really uh, sh shown you uh, how to round off these edges with 350 points. And most of the time you're going to just scroll up and down on these uh, just to see what looks good for your chart and what doesn't. And then uh, I could always decrease the width and height here. And you'll see it kind of rounds off everything at the bottom too. So there's how our chart's looking at 
the current moment. Um, and then uh, you could also change the material options, which are under your special effects, and that's right here. And uh, you could just kind of scroll through, the, through these to see how they look, but I'm gonna choose this soft edge, and you'll see it kind of gives it a soft edge all around the entire graph. So looks pretty good right now. Uh, now I want to change how it's actually being displayed on here. So those were the effect options. Now I'm going to display what are called the series options. And then I'm going to angle the first slice, which is this taxes slice that it appears in the front. Okay. And so the series options are with this little graph right here. And so in this area, I'm going to change the angle of the first slice. And I know that it's 115 to move taxes in front, but you'll just uh, hit up and down on this to rotate your slices to however you want them on your graph, right? And so there we go. Um, and then, so that puts taxes in the front. Now what I'm going to show you is actually what's called a pie explosion, okay? And so I'm going to basically select uh, the taxes slice right here, or uh, I guess services is okay. Let's choose the services slide. So if I select that, you'll notice that the little circles that were at the corner of every single other um, slice are no longer there and now just services is selected. So let's say that I wanted to show my reader that services is very important and I wanted to show that it's 11% of the budget here so or the revenue rather. Uh, so what I'm going to do is called a, uh, a point explosion which is right here. It's at 0% right now and now that I have this slice selected I change that to 10, I press enter and notice that it explodes it out a little bit outside um, that slice or that the rest of the uh, pie chart here. So it increases uh, the viewer's attention to that slice in particular, okay? Now keep in mind, you could always change uh, the colors of the slices. You just go to chart tools uh, uh, format tab right here, and then you can change the shape fill. So if I wanted to change it to say a different style of gray, I could just click on that or change it to red or whatever it happens to be. You could just change it right there, okay? All right, so there we go. So now finally what I'm gonna show you is the chart area, okay? And so that's kind of the last area that I haven't really gone over. And so the chart area, uh, there's basically two different ways of looking at your chart. Right out here is what's called the chart area. So if you click out here, you'll notice that everything deselects from the inside and you'll just be out here in the chart area. And as you hover over it, it says chart area. Now in here, that's a little bit closer, is called the plot area. So just keep that in mind. The plot area has to deal more with what's closer to your graph itself. The chart area is the whole chart, including the title. Okay, so you, when you want to format that chart area, you could actually format that to have a border around it or to have a, a, a fill around it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in this chart area, I'm going to uh, click on right here, which is our fill and line area, and I'm going to click on fill. And then I'm going to just put in a gradient fill just to show you what that looks like. So if I go to gradient fill here, it'll actually add in this nice fill in the background to give it kind of a... a textured look in the background there. And so you could always change your preset gradients to a specific style. Say you like this one right here. You could just change it to that gray color. And there you go. And so that's how you change the uh, fill in the background of the page. Okay. So now the other option that was here was border. And you could actually set up, say, a solid line border for the background. And so let's say I wanted to do that and it's already preset to this gray color. I'm just going to leave it as that. And so you kind of look around, you don't see much of a border here. You have to change the width, right? You change the width of that border right there. Let's say I change it to five. You're now going to see that thicker border around the entire chart area here. So remember to hit that uh, chart area that's there. And so then we take a look at our chart. It's looking pretty good. So I could deselect it, see how it looks. And so that's how you can uh, format a chart in Microsoft Excel. So uh, we showed you how to explode one uh, of the slices out and format the chart and apply bevels and change the width and actually rotate your chart. So uh, that should set you up with the basic knowledge of what you actually need to do to format your charts in Microsoft Excel. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, check out my other videos on Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. Thank you uh, for watching and please leave a comment if you have a video request. Thank Thank you so much.